So my name is Mike Super, and I get asked all the time if that is my real name. And the truth is, my actual name is Johnny Von Awesome. I'm not one of those magicians that has, you know, a, a sequin jacket. I'm just sort of your everyday guy. The best trick I ever did was get my wife to marry me. And then we had two beautiful girls. I now have a built-in audience. Kids are completely honest at all times. Yay! So if they really like something and they're asking me to do it again, I know it's ready for the stage. And it's Mike Super! Thank you very, very much. Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, Penn and Teller, we are going to play the lottery. Here we go. That is one. Go to this side. That is two. Hit them around. Hit them the other way. Penn and Teller, please, hit it to the audience. Very nice. One more. Yes. Mix them up. Here we go. When I say stop, I want you to catch the balls. Ready? One, two, three. Stop the music. Give our spectators a big round of applause. People with the balloons, come up here on stage. Stop right here at the steps. Penn and Teller, I brought you both a present. I believe in fate. And every year for my birthday, I give myself a present, I play the lottery. The Powerball to be exact. I've never won, otherwise I'd invite you all to my chain of islands. Uh, but this last birthday last year, I didn't get one number right. And I thought that was funny because I'm sort of a magic mind reader. I felt that meant something. So I brought it with me here tonight, Penn and Teller. I'm going to set it right here underneath our surveillance camera. That way everybody can keep their eye on it at once. Now, our six uh, spectators, please join me on stage. Give them a big round of applause, if you would, right this way. If you would, right over here. Come right over here. We're going to place you right here, sir. As I said, tonight we are going to play the lottery. And you, sir, you have the red ball. I need you to step forward. That means you have been chosen for the Hunger Games. <laughs> We're going to move you to the end. We're going to shift everybody down one spot. May the odds forever be in your favor, sir. You have the Powerball. This is the most important position. You have a different choice than these other five people. In a moment, you're going to choose a number between 1 and 26. Don't let me influence you at all. Now. The other five have a different choice. You are going to choose a number between 1 and 69. That is the lottery's rules, not mine. So you, sir, into the microphone. I want you to say a number between 1 and 69. Go for it. Six. Six. Tonight's first lottery number is six. You saw how easy that was, sir, yes? Yeah. I need a number between 1 and 69. Go for it. 13. 13. The unlucky Goss number. Perfect. All right, a number between 1 and 69. 42. 42. Hold it right there. You're doing great. 42. All right, sir, a number between 1 and 69. 19. 19, my age. <laughs> Hold it right there. Now, we're going to ask you to move forward. We're going to keep these in numerical order. So if you would move forward, we're going to slide you down one. We're going to slide you right there. Perfect. Now, you saw that I'm moving people according to numerical order. Maybe you don't want to move. Maybe you're feeling lazy. Don't let that influence you tonight, okay? That would severely cut down the numbers you choose. I need a number between 1 and 69. Go for it. 27. 27. Hold it right there. This is perfect. And take a step forward, sir. Take a step forward. I'm going to take your spot. So, so far, we have 6, 13, 19, 27, and 42. It's time for the Powerball number. Into the microphone, a number between 1 and 26. Go for it. Let's go with my IQ, 23. 23. <laughs> that is our Powerball. We're going to lock it in, 23. Perfect. There it is. Now. I want you to all consider the impossibility of this. Tonight, six random spectators were chosen from the audience. They gave me six random numbers. 
I brought a lottery ticket from last year, my birthday, which has been in full view the entire time. But I want you to take a close look at those numbers. If I say your number, please hold your ball in the air. Six, 13, 19, 27, and 42. And the all important Powerball of 23. for the actual lottery. Yes, I was a little late. Oh, well. And did you grow up with a lot of magic where you're from? I grew up in a little town that uh, was sort of financially challenged, and uh, magic kind of became an escape. This was before the internet and everything, so I had to learn from books. There's no Hogwarts. Uh, I went to Magician State instead, <laughs> and, and I got my dream. My dream chose me, so. Nice. Yeah. Okay, it's time to go to the boys. Teller's mentor used to always say that prediction tricks in magic are always time reversals. And you've done something even hipper than that, because by not saying, I'm going to predict what this is going to be, but rather this is my lottery ticket from a year ago, make it much more interesting. It just makes the mind tangle up a little bit in a really good way. There's no mistakes in this. It's too perfect. We just dug it completely from beginning Thank to you. end. Thank what you. What a great act, man. So entertaining. Thank so you. Thank you. Thank you.